Well, greetings and salutations, uh, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request for uh, 65 and 66 on the capital asset pricing model. This is QID 1521269. If you don't have a cap on QBank, I highly recommend it. You can get a 15% discount at checkout with my Guru 15 discount code. For the commercial Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at Kaplan questions. We'll help you on any questions. It's just uh, the Kaplan QBank is the best paid supplement, best QBank out there. Anyways, the uh, capital asset pricing model used by many is used by many to assess the expected return of a security. So that's helpful. You know, maybe I didn't know that before. And now they've just given me some free information. So thank you very much. If the current risk-free rate of return is 2%, so 2% is what I get for not hazarding or risking my capital. I mean, it's all built on the premise that if we can't beat the risk-free rate of return, why would we invest? Why would we play any of these games? Uh, the current return on the market is 12%. So, you know, that is uh, telling me here that that's the market return. And in particular, stocks beta is 0.80, so it's less volatile than the underlying market. So that means, uh, you know, both directions, by the way. 0.8 means 80% as volatile as the market up or down. With a correlation coefficient of 0.60, that has nothing to do with answering this question. Correlation is a separate issue, negative and positive correlation. So expected return. So what would be our expected return? Well, 12% uh, is what the market will give us, or market return, I should say it that way. And remember, we're going to minus the 2% because we could have got two without housing our capital. So that means the market return is 10% uh, that we're gonna use as our benchmark, right? Because if the market's returned 12, but we could have got two without uh, actually hazarding any capital, uh, 10 is the number that's uh, relevant. So 10, and uh, once we get the 10, then we say, okay, well, this is 80% as volatile as the market. So now I'm gonna times that by the beta of 0.8. And so 8%, is uh, again, not the expected return because kind of a little uh, thing here, we got to throw back in the two, right? Because again, we could get two without risking our capital. So our expectation is we could get 8% above the risk-free rate of return, which is two. So our expected return, and that's the answer to the question, uh, would be 10%. Do I think you're going to have to do capital asset pricing model calculations on the exam? I do not. There's only two or three math questions on 65, 66, and you can seriously get in the weeds. Mainly on the math, make sure you understand input and output. So, you know, what goes into this, what are the, uh, you know, inputs, the market return, you know, the beta and the uh, risk free rate of return. So inputs and outputs, you know, being able to recognize the formula, not so much can you do it, and then what is this uh, math helpful in doing, which in this case is uh, helping us determine what our expected return should be. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. Remember, inch by inch, your 65 or 66 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your 65 or 66 is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication request.